this activity, you are going to need your insect diagram printout, your permanent markers, your Sharpie, your stickers, your foam stickers, these little um, shrink papers, your wooden box, your paint palette, scissors, and your glue. Go on and get this stuff and let's start making. Okay, we are going to be making this very cool bug diagram using a shrinky paper. So what we want to do to start is take our wooden canvas, except we're not going to use this flat surface. This is going to be the back. We're going to use the inside of the canvas. So you want to have it faced up so it's almost like a little bowl. Okay, face that up in front of you. And your first step is going to be to paint your box. Okay, so there's something very important you need to know about painting our box. As you can see here, I didn't paint the bottom layer here because I want my bugs to show through the nice clear wood okay so very very important that we don't paint on this part of the frame if we do it's not the end of the world it will pr still probably look cool but we are not gonna paint in here we're gonna just paint all the way around the edges and on the edges over here we could even paint on this side if we wanted to but just do not paint the inside okay so let's get started on that let's start painting our frame we need our paintbrush, we need our water, and we need our palette of paint. So if you guys remember, you're gonna wanna dip your paintbrush fully in the water, get it nice and wet, and rub in the color for at least five seconds to make sure you have lots of color on your brush, okay? Once you've painted around your full frame here, um, come on and press play again. So go ahead and press pause. Let's start the first step. If you are all finished with your painting, it's time to add some stickers, okay? So what we're gonna do is, I already started doing mine, but there's uh, some circles and some squares, foam pieces, some ladybugs, and you can add stickers around your frame. Remembering to keep in mind not to add it into the middle. This is where we're gonna put our bug pictures, okay? So I've already started mine. As you can see, both my frames are very different. So place your stickers however you like, be creative. You can cut your pieces into smaller, pieces like I did with some of them and um, put them on the back if you want that's okay too go ahead and put your foam pieces and stickers on your frame have lots of fun and press play when you're ready I hope you had fun putting your stickers on I'm sure yours is looking really really good okay this part is my favorite part I've sat down to do this part because I just think it's relaxing when you're doing art to take your time Go ahead and grab this paper. It has different bugs on it so that we can trace them. If you'd like to draw your bugs by hand, that's okay too. Uh, I love inventing my own bugs. Some of these bugs, like the worms and stuff, I drew by hand. I did not use a tracer. So if you want to use a tracer or not, it's up to you. I just think this is a really fun way to do things. So what you wanna do is take one of your shrink paper pieces. That's these little clear papers. They don't look like much, but you're gonna wanna try these out. They're really fun. So uh, here, let's take a look at our bug diagram. What are we gonna pick? I think I'm gonna have to go with this really cool looking butterfly. So what you do is you take your shrink paper, put it over top of your butterfly or beetle or dragonfly or whatever you're gonna choose and you're gonna trace onto this clear piece by using the photo underneath. I like to tape my shrink paper down. You do not have to do that. That's just something I like to do because then I can just draw. I don't have to worry about pushing it over or anything, but you don't need the tape. You can just hold it down. Okay, take your Sharpie marker. This is a very fancy marker. It's a great marker. Make sure when you're done using your art box and you're making your things, don't throw this out. Keep it with your markers. It's a really good one. So we're gonna use this and we are gonna trace around all of the lines making sure to get most of the details. We're not gonna color it in. We're just gonna do the outline. The outline is the outside lines of your picture. Tracing all around. Here's a close up. As you can see, I'm not making it perfect. I try to get it on the lines, but it does not have to be perfect. Now it's your turn to go and trace your bugs, okay? Using the black Sharpie marker, trace all around your bugs and come on back and press play. I'll show you what to do next, okay? 
See you soon. I have finished up tracing my bugs and now I am moving on to the next step, which is coloring our bugs. So you know the side that you just drew on? You're gonna take that side and you're gonna flip it over, okay? Because these markers, they might smear the black marker you just took so much special care into drawing on. These markers might wipe it off while you're trying to color it in. So what you're gonna do, flip over your insect and color it in. Because it's flipped over, you can color right over the black dots, makes it nice and easy to stay in the lines. I'm doing a ladybug, so this one's easy. I'm just gonna do red, but you guys feel free to make purple ladybugs, blue butterflies, yellow ants, anything you want, okay? Go ahead, color your bugs, and meet me back here. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, I'm so excited. I hope your bugs are looking as great as mine. I chose a butterfly and a grasshopper and a bumblebee, a beetle, my favorite bug, and a ladybug. The next thing we have to do is something that we might need help for. Go and tell an adult and set your oven or toaster oven to 300 degrees because we are going to cook these bugs. Press pause, go ahead and go do that. I've turned on my oven and I have a baking tray ready here. My tin foil's kind of cut up because I don't like to waste and I had all these extra pieces lying around. So I thought why not use them for this craft then they will not go to waste. Here I am placing my bugs on here. And once your oven is preheated to 300, we are going to pop them in with a parent's help. The oven I use for crafts. I'm gonna wait till it preheats to 300 degrees. Take my shrink paper. With the help of a parent, we're gonna put it in. Bye bye bugs. This is what they're gonna look like while they're curling up. They're slowly gonna curl up and then flatten themselves back up. It's really cool to watch. It should take about 90 seconds for your shrinky to go flat. If it still has some curvy edges or it's a little curvy, you can take a towel once it's out of the oven and while it's still warm, you can press down to make it flat. Okay, so now it's your turn to go and put your shrinky papers in the oven and make sure you use a parent's help. Come on back here and press play when you're ready. Once they come out, they should look something like this. They're nice and thick now and shiny and shrinky. It is time for the last step, my friends. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take your cool little pieces. Aren't these fun? I hope yours turned out really good. And you're gonna take some of your clear glue. Remember your clear glue that we had before? And we're gonna put some on the back or front, whatever side you want of your shrinkies. It really doesn't matter. Put some glue on there and we're gonna carefully place it inside our frame like that. So take the rest of yours, put glue on the back, stick them on and meet me back here and let's see how it looks. Wow, look at mine, it is so cute. I can't wait to show this to my mom, she is gonna love it. Good job everybody, I hope you like your bug diagram. Find a very cool and special place to put this and make sure you show it off to everybody, okay? Thanks for joining me and I'll see you guys later.